Welcome, gentlemen. It is April 9th, 2020. We are in quarantine. And this is our free call. Our, our free calls that we do Monday through Friday, at least till April 17th. So all next week, uh, also this coming Friday, tomorrow, we'll have a free call from 11 a.m. Uh, my time. So Pacific, well, just look at the stuff down below. It tells you all about it. But we're having this interesting discussion. There's a couple things that have come up on this call which are really important for us to be talking about as men. And this one is about pain. And we, we were talking about this a little bit yesterday or two days ago when we put up the video, uh, put a link to it, uh, where we were, I was talking about we are obsessed with the outcome. And when we come from scarcity, happiness and what you know that looks like is different than what actual happiness is or health. If we're coming from a point of scarcity, being out of shape, wanting to change, the image of health is going to be much different. Same with wealth, same with dating, same with all of the true ambitions that we were born to have. But we miss out on pain. We miss out on the value of pain. And we hear this cliche over and over again of that if we don't experience the good things, we can't appreciate or we don't experience the bad things. We don't appreciate the good things. You get what I'm saying? But I want to put this in perspective. And, and we were talking about this because there's some divorce guys on here. We're talking about the pain of that, the pain of for six months, seven months, nine months, going through that time, that honorable time, that rite of passage. And this is how we need to see it as men. Yeah, we get it. It sucks. The court systems, women that leave us or that we leave or angry baby mamas or whatever, all that sort of stuff. They suck, right? But we as men have an opportunity of a rite of passage. And that rite of passage is so important where we sit with our pain that every single day, Every single day for whatever it is, nine months, we doubt ourselves. We have heartbreak. We have anger. We have thoughts of revenge. We have all these different things that we can't act on. And, and we need to talk about this. We need to talk about that level of insanity that you go through in that and who that makes you. Because when you get that gift of daily having that kind of doubt, that kind of, having that kind of perspective, that flaw, that hate, all those different things come your way, you build something. See, and this is the thing, is that our culture is obsessed with not looking at pain. We're so obsessed with our pain, we think the opposite of our pain is good. And we are just talking about that, that we want to value like not being confused. We want to value confidence. We want to value having things. We want to value sanity. We want to value clarity. We want to value peace and serenity. But the only way that we can truly have peace and serenity is if we've been tested for it and built from it. That yes, if our lives are not stressed, if those things aren't there, Peace and serenity sounds like a great thing. Being clear, knowing what you want, having confidence, not being confused sound like great things. But how you become those things is you go through extreme amounts of pain. And we are talking about this because these divorce dudes are going through so much pain. You know, one of the things that I get so much of this from is from recovery. When we go through addiction problems, there is pain on a different level. And, it, and it's intense, man. It's crazy. And your pain, however you're experiencing it, is just as bad as mine and all that sort of stuff. And I'm not trying to compare. But when you get to guys who have drug problems or girls who have drug problems, is there's this repetition throughout their life of just constant pain. And so to believe in something else and believe that something could work, that believe that they're not fundamentally flawed, that the belief that their self-hate could be manufactured and not true and there is beauty within them, in order to find that is very difficult. And so their ability to hold on to serenity, their ability to hold on to clarity, their ability to find happiness usually has a lot more tools and a lot more testing to it. See, these things are great. And I see men talk about this all the time. Like, I'm confident. I got something. I am something in this world. I'm powerful. But we don't want to go through what it takes to get that power and to gain that peace of mind and to gain what it means to be a strong man. You have the image of what you want as a strong man. You have the image of the respect you want. You have the image that's usually based on your fears of not wanting to be hurt, not wanting to be screwed over. Watch that video from the other day or just many of them because we always talk about that. But man... You have to be willing to walk through the pain to get there. You have to be willing to walk through the doubt. 
And isn't that the rite of passage? Isn't that the thing that we all blamed on masculinity, which I get it, man. I'm sure it does make a difference. But, you know, it was like always this thing when you get this self-help dude and they're like, you know what the problem with masculinity is? I went to Africa and they, you know, cut their foreskins off at 14 and we don't have to go through that. And it's not the rite of passage. What is the rite of passage? What is that? That there's something so bad, so hurtful, so confusing that it's a pivotal point in your life. That we as a community, we as men, we as something that identifies this thing that only we could do have experienced. And that gave us our self-worth. Well, you have that. You have your pain. You have your thing giving you doubt today. You have your time. You have your crisis. You have all of that stuff going. You're never going to make it. It's not going to work. You're going to fail. You are a failure. All this other talk is BS. You're fucked. So do you give up or you keep going? Keep going. Walk through that pain. Learn the value and the skill of gaining your confidence. Learn the value and the skill of gaining your happiness. Learn the value and the skill of gaining your integrity in times when you're in pain and you could retaliate and nobody would ever know. Learn the value and honor of what that is because there's no reward for it. There never will be until years down the road. But it carries that thing that you're looking for, which makes you feel complete. That when you see somebody with confidence, when you see somebody who has clarity, and you go, man, I want that. Well, if they really have it, that's where it came from. Guys, get on our free calls. Be a part of this group. It's for free. We work. We work as men. This is your time for self-development. And uh, we talk about stuff like this and it's a lot better than just me talking because there's a whole group of us. We had 18 guys on today. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And we have that average for five days a week of dudes all around the world. You don't have to slack on this time, man. This is something where we're putting it to use and we're putting in the work and I'm inviting you to this process. So we'll talk to you.